Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, attempt to do this problem. We're going to figure out the number of degrees of unsaturation of methionine, which is an amino acid. So the first thing we have to remember is the what? The formula. The formula for? Determining the units of unsaturation. Well, it's more the formula for the um, acyclic uh, alkane, right? What is that formula, do you recall? I'll help you out. CN H2 N plus, plus two. 2, okay? So you have to remember that formula. If you don't remember it, you're going to have a hard time with these. Remember, also, whenever we have O's, what do we do to the H's with those? Do you remember? Okay, so O's we don't do anything to. doesn't change the number of H's at all. S's. Uh, they're below O in the periodic table, so they have the same rules as O, okay? So nothing happens to the H's. So what happens when we have N's in the molecule? You take one hydrogen away. Take one hydrogen away. So what are we going to do? We're going to have C5H what? 10. 10, okay? So that's our, that's uh, the formula that we're looking at now, okay? C5H10, CnH2n plus 2, right? So if that's the case, it should be C5H what? 22. 2 oh. times 5. Oh, 10 plus 12. So 12. 12. Right? Okay. So 12. So, what do we do to figure out, well, how many units of unsaturation we have? We subtract, right? Always the carbons are going to go away. H2, right? For every H2, that's how many units? One, one unit, unit or one degree of unsaturation. Okay, so that's how many units of unsaturation this molecule has. So that either has one ring or one pi bond. Okay, and in this case, it has a pi bond. Okay. 